Okay, in this video, we are going to tie you, tie A, we're going to tie you, we're going to tie A, Waltz's Worm, developed by Waltz, Waltz's, uh, Waltz Young in PA, sorry, I have a problem with talking here this morning, I don't know what's up, uh, Waltz Young for PA, I learned about this fly, and you want to go check this out, from Tim Rosenbar, Rosenbar, Burr, Burr, Rosenbar podcast. You go in, you can listen to Orvis's podcast, fly fishing podcast. Check out the winter fly fishing tactics one. And they have an interview with a really cool guy named Matt Flagler. And he is awesome. And he tells you all the flies that he would put in his box. And we're going to cover them, all these patterns coming up in our videos. So subscribe to our channel. Give this thumb, th this video a thumbs up if you like it. And no, I'm not going to talk any longer. On to the video. Here's how you tie them. Real easy pattern. Okay, we start. I already have the bead head in the hook to start to fly. And this is going to be the Waltz worm, regular worm. So we start with a brown thread. Tie that in. Take it back to the back. And I just take my line out of the way. We need a red weight. We'll take that. And tie it in. Chair off. Now I go back in. And now you can see I built my body up. Then we need a piece of single wire. This fly is so easy to get it off of Orvis of Orvis podcast. So I listen to the Orvis podcast a lot. So actually, that's where I got this Waltzer worm. And uh, so, so Tom Rosenbauer, if you ever see my videos, thank you so much for doing your podcast. I learned so much from your podcast. Even after 30 years of fishing, it's lovely. I love to keep learning. I definitely don't know everything. Ever have a fly that you want to see? Just Leave a comment in this video. I'll cover it. So you wind your hack on, or your dubbing. I like to go back. Something I just learned from. And dub it back. It makes a stronger fly when you go up and back the dubbing. Then you take your rib. 
I'm gonna remove some. I'm trying to make the wraps even. I mean, they don't have to be perfect. I don't give them perfect, but closer to even I get them. I seem to know it work better. Let me tie that off. Cut this off. Like when I started, I told you this is an easy fly. You just you want that little strike way behind the head, and then you just a couple in. Now, if you can see that, there's a brown, brown line behind this. They want you want that there. Um, that's how they designed the fly. I guess that helps it work. I always be so worried about covering my thread, and this fly, they don't want you to cover that thread. They want you to keep it just like that, and that's the fly. So now we will teach you. The next one. Okay, now this one is the Wurzer, the sexy Wurzer worm. We just showed you the regular Wurzer worm. We just do our, add our lead. You can tie in, or you can add your lead before you tie your thread on in. Actually, I've been trying to it more this way. I like it better this way. I always used to tie my thread on before the lead. I said thanks to like Orvis's podcast and other tires. You just break your lead off. And you can cover it with dubbing because don't worry about how your little lead looks. Tie your thread in. I like to start doing the body up. Now you just cut this off. Takes a minute. I'll wait till it dries. Then it got dry. Then instead of using the gold wire, this is really like thin uh, flashaboo. That's what I use in all my streamers. Too, but it's thinner flashaboo. It's not the the kind you use for. You just tie that in. Simple. Then you take. The dubbing. If you're gonna go and check it out, my video on this stuff, you should go check it out. Like I said in the beginning, this is a well. I don't know how new it is, but it's a newer product. Sit there and spin her out. And so just like the other one, you want to take the rib. Take your rib. Okay, I'm going to try and make it even wraps. I mean, I'm sure this is 
more for f me making the even wraps here than it is the fish. We have a class on a flashback of to the to play the video. Maybe we could put a link right here somewhere for that video, but we tie a flashback nymph in one of our videos on our top two fishes or flies last year. And once again you you wanna run that line up for that stripe right behind the back. Do your That orange thread really adds a tractor band to this fly. And I'm going to finish this different too. The other one I put head cement on. This one I'm going to take a UV cure because you can use UV cure. It makes good head cement. Just put it on there. Just use your head cement. Didn't get too much on there. Loot our heads and that helps you from freaking frogs from coming apart. Secure it. Give it over. Secure it. And there you see it. You got the finished Waltzer worm. Simple, easy, fly. Tie yourself some up. And go fishing at the creek.